we've come to a deal pretty much subject to getting it written. Uh, it'll take probably three weeks, four weeks, or five weeks. As you know, we're, we're going to be in uh, Chile together at the big summit. And maybe it'll be then, or maybe it'll be sometime around then. A tremendous deal for the farmers, uh, a purchase of from 40 to $50 billion worth of agricultural products. Uh, to show you how big that is, that would be two and a half, three times what China had purchased at its highest point thus far. So the uh, tariffs on the, uh, the increase from 25 percent to 30 percent that will be suspended. Uh, we'll be paying 25, but we're not increasing it to 30. And then you might want to mention the additional uh, tariffs. The, addition, the, the additional tariffs are scheduled into effect, as many of you know, this the second half of the September. That is scheduled into effect on December uh, the 15th, and the President has not made a final decision on that, but there's plenty of time to make that decision. And that is certainly part of this process that the Chinese are, are, are working their way through. So the first one has been suspended. The second one is subject to the president making a final decision. But the way this timing works out, that will be well in advance of that date. And they're great. I think the relationship in a certain ways may be better than it's ever been. We've been uh, through a very tough negotiation. There's never been a negotiation like this. In all fairness, I give China tremendous credit because for 25 or 30 years, they've done very well with the U.S. And, and now we're doing something jointly. We're doing it in a fair manner. Uh, I, I give China credit for what they've done over the last 30 years. Tremendous credit. I don't blame China. I blame the people representing our country. Now uh, we have a deal that I think ultimately is going to be just fantastic for China and fantastic for the United States.